guys, welcome to AJ's Table Time. And on this episode, we have a very special treat for you. We have a board game uh, with a large, dark tower. And in fact, it has an app interaction. So I've done all the techie stuff for you guys. Plugged in my old iPad on here, and we're going to experience the game together. Apparently, this thing lights up, and it spits skulls at us, and you put skulls in the little dark tower butthole up here, and then if skulls fucking dominate the land, and uh, we we die. Don't forget, so, it's got speakers. And, and it vibrates. It <laughs> vibrates, it rotates, it's got speakers, and it spits skulls at us. This is really cool, and actually, this is made by a fellow game de developer, a friend of mine, Rob Daviao. Uh, who helped me out with the Street Fighter miniatures game in early development. He played the game a few times. Uh, he also made Star Wars Epic Duels, one of the best uh, board yes. games. Yeah, Joe's played that. One of the best <laughs> little miniatures games we played. Um, and he's got restoration games. got his own company here. Um, so we're going to play this game. He played my game. Let's play his game, right? Um, so I've got... Uh, this was from the Kickstarter. It just arrived. I've got the upgraded miniatures here. Uh, otherwise, the monsters are going to be normal cardboard tokens. But I got the upgraded miniatures uh, set, which I uh, recommend because these miniatures are pretty cool. But you'll see that as we play along here. So we have off-screen already uh, determined what are going to be the enemies and the adversary inside the Dark Tower. Uh, chat determined that for us. They probably picked the hardest <laughs> options. So we might get our butts kicked here, especially since this is our first game. I just said, screw it, let's go all in. So Alex, who are you playing? A uh, Brutal Warlord. Joe, who are you? Peeping Tom. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm a spy master. <laughs> He's the spy master. <laughs> I am the orphan Scion. It's My magic shall destroy this dark tower. And yeah, Ray, who are you? you? Boy, I'm the relic hunter. Oh, yeah, and he looks fucking badass. He looks like a gunslinger. Let me show you. I'm Black Superman. <laughs> badass uh, gunslinger there. He bad uh, badass. Okay, so uh, ba basically what we do here, let's go ahead and uh, place our miniatures in our uh, the kingdoms that face us. So I am the champion of the north side. And when you're the champion of the north side, go to the citadel and put your miniature in the citadel. Joe, who are you the champion of? You are the Myself. champion of the west side. <laughs> west side. West side, I'm north side. You're west side. Put your uh, miniature in the citadel. Uh, Alex, you are the champion. Of going down south. You are the Ooh. champion of the south. <laughs> Best seat in the house. Oh, I see. <laughs> Where do I go? South, in the Citadel. In Follow the, the Blaze Trail. <laughs> and, and Ray, you are the champion of the East. Place yourself in the Citadel. Let's go to Mecca, oh. bitches. <laughs> okay, so now that we're all set up here, we can look at a little uh, uh, look at the app here. We can zoom in on our spots here. So this is uh, your starting spot. You start in the Citadels. Um, and I've got the app. Uh, in the top right corner for some of these so that we can actually kind of still interact with the app. So let's go ahead and put in the parameters. So the first thing you want to do is at the start of the game, you want to go ahead and turn on your tower. Um, oh, no, tower ready. Okay, tower's ready. Let's go. So we go into cooperative. There's a competitive mode, but we don't know how to play yet, so we're going to go cooperative <laughs> mode. So let's choose Otherwise, that. Otherwise, OG would just attack Ray immediately. Like, right. turn one. Yeah. <laughs> so get, we're going to select four slingers. players. Yeah. Uh, Chad has decided that we will be doing uh, the assembly. Assemble an army of trees. Left of the dryad. It is trees. 420. Has awoken <laughs> ancient is. trees to tear the tower apart. Make a ring of forests around the tower. Then when all the trees and ents are in place, notify the evergreen king to call the attack. Now, here's what I'm talking about, the adversary. We could face any one of these adversaries. And notice, as you go along here, it makes little noises. So, 
So previously, chat decided that we will be going up against the Ass Rider. Ash Strider, <laughs> I mean. The Ash Strider souls fire and chaos. It adds skulls to buildings and can even set rivers on fire. <laughs> so, uh, OJ, get that pretty ceiling. The, <laughs> the river of fire token. Now we select all the different uh, foes. So previously, they chose that we are going brigands, oryx, spine fiend. Nope, they chose wolves. Let me give you the sound of the wolves. Hmm, I don't know if I approve. Because <laughs> the tower has uh, a speaker in it. And uh, level three, they chose that we would go up against either Frost Trolls, Lemur, the Clan of Nuri, or Widowmade Spiders. I think spiders would have been cool, but this time we're actually going up against uh, the Screaming Women. Can we sync that up and play some music on that? Sweet. <laughs> And our final level four foe, uh, we are going up either against dragons, uh, Mormons, uh, Mormos, <laughs> my bad, uh, Strig <laughs> Strigus, or Titan. So, and this time we are going against dragons. Oh no, they got the bikes. <laughs> Set up part one of two. Place two skulls on each village and citadel. So if you would do me a favor of uh, putting some skulls oh on shit. each piece of plastic. Time to roll uh, the every bones. Every piece of plastic. Two pieces of plastic, two little skulls on citadels and <laughs> villages. So, did we set up correctly? Citadels. Okay, so citadels skulls and villages, yep. Okay, we're moving on. Game set up part one of two. Let's see what else they want us to do. Oh, this is spooky. Take four river of fire tokens from the box. Okay, I got it. And <laughs> the first player gains Letha <laughs> as a Kids. companion. She's like a, she's a, it's like a kid. Oh yeah. shit, it's the children of the court. Companion. <laughs> so we have to determine the first player. So this is uh, actually our ally, um, and the ally will follow around the first player. Okay. So she'll give us plus two beast advantages. God, I hope we're fighting beasts, because if not, then... I think we are with the... Yeah. An oh army of God. trees. Letha the Dryad has awoken ancient trees to tear the tower apart. Make a ring of forests around the tower. When all trees are in place, notify the Evergreen King to call the attack. Goal. Quest in yellow, um, yellow pike while there is an unbroken ring of forest spaces around the tower. These can include siege trees and forest spaces on the board. So the question I have immediately is how do we move those uh, siege trees uh, to get around the tower, right? Month one, begin. Oh, shit. Okay, Joe. So here's the easy part Fight. is adversary <laughs> quest. So during month one and turn one there is no companion quest and there is no adversary quest so you'll learn those later because the tower will start putting out more quests around the the place so right now we're just looking to uh you know build up our build up ourselves so i don't know joe well you do have seven warriors but i wouldn't recommend going up against uh you know uh, she's the level three isn't she that's cute or level <laughs> two or something, so I probably wouldn't recommend you going against her quite yet. So, uh, what you should probably do, Clans. Jim, is, uh, yeah, you want to cleanse? Hell yeah, that's a good idea, Joe. So remove all skulls from your space. Excellent. That's gonna that's gonna buy us some time. Okay, and because once you take one of these heroic actions, either cleanse, battle, or quest, you gain two spirits. So don't forget to ask me for your two spirit. Okay, now you can reinforce if you would like. Since you're at a, you can move at any time, right? So you can like kind of do your heroic action, then move, or so you can go to a different area. Uh, so you're gonna go over to the village, right? Mm -hmm. And you're gonna gain. Six warriors for free, or give me one spirit and gain 12 I'll give you warriors. One. And I'll give you 12 warriors. So Joe's got a nice little army of how many troops? I got 17. 17 troops? No, actually more than You that. cannot use cities that are skulled, right? No, you can. What The only thing is when that city receives its 19. fourth skull, you can't use it. It's 
It's, it's actually boom. destroyed. It boom. Yeah, a little nuclear explosion of evil. Now, Joe, at the end of your turn, it says drop one skull into the tower. Here we go. Ooh. Where'd it go? <laughs> Let me uh, zoom this out a little bit Where'd so we can get a little bit of that, Joel. That, that wasn't cool to see that bitch light up like that. <laughs> yeah, so let's see what it says. Oh, you got lucky, Joe. No events. Yes. No Ooh, events. Suck okay. it, Trebek. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, Alex is going to have an event. It's going to shit all over OJ. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because there's four players, there's going to be fewer times that it happens. Okay, so. so I'm going to cleanse these skulls. We've, we've always got I'm going to get first. the thing. I'm going to move over to here. I'm going to give you a give you one. So give me one. Okay. Uh, and then I get 17. Oh, God um, damn. Because I get five at the start of my turn mm. and then 12 for doing the thing. Oh, so you're just the mass and army. Oh, you're the warlord. I'm the warlord. I'm going to give you a little pool over here. That makes uh, sense. So oh, that you. you can uh, pull from. And then what did you say? 17 armies. How do you get 17 armies, sir? I get five at the beginning of every turn, and I just I just gave you one. For Holy <laughs> shit. What? He's the warlord. I'm the warlord. The warlord generates five soldiers? At the beginning of every turn. That's fucking crazy. That's beautiful, Yui. We might need this. Okay, well, drop it. You're gonna need. You're gonna drop need it a, like it's hot. A tokens. These are five warrior tokens. He's pulling a Sir Do song. <laughs> <laughs> Create a little pool over there. <laughs> drop your skull, motherfucker. Event. We you didn't it. say Kobe. Here we go. <laughs> There's consequence to repercussion. <laughs> shit on OJ. The tower awakens. Oh, Ash. Shit. Ass Rider ignites the waters of the land. Put a river of fire token on a river of your choice. Oh, way to go. What uh, are the river of fire tokens Between do? OJ and AJ. Uh, this is river of fire. Lose six warriors when you cross <gasps> this river. Can't well, lose them if you ain't got them. Uh, put a river of fire <laughs> token on a river of your choice. Why would you put it in between me and OJ? Because I need OJ. I need to actually connect to OJ. Uh, because he has more force than I do, so I need to borrow his force, so I can't put him between him and I. Uh, I'm worried because you have the most soldiers, and and, and it's going to cost us six to move But the bad thing. guy, the only existing big bad guy on the map, is yeah. now kind of locked in. Yeah. Okay, River of Fire. What? The month just ended. month ended. Okay. <laughs> but I, I was supposed to get nine turns. I, w I was promised and told that I'm about to get about the, nine turns Then you had to go and month. fucking trigger an event. We only have five <laughs> more months before this tower fucking kills us all. All right, well, let's cleanse this shit. Shit. Month two. New quests arrive. Okay. Recruit Nimit. So Nimit the Unfathomable was twisted by the magics of the tower. She hides deep under the earth, hoping to avoid its reach. Task, complete the Temple of the Cruel King dungeon to shake Nimit, Nimit from her fu... What is that? Fuge? Fu fuge? Fuge and gain her as a companion. Jeez, I need to whip out a thesaurus up in here. She is a plus two magic advantage and spend three spirit to place a seal on the tower. You can do this once per turn. Kiss from Rose, baby. So uh, she will help us plug up the tower. Uh, and that's good because the tower is going to create more holes. Yeah, because it looks like look the first here, level stays like lit you, now. Yeah, you see this, this, this seal right here? Oh. If you remove this, that's yet another area that those skulls can drop from. So she will allow you to put the seals back. So somebody might want to go and uh, yeah, let me know where that dungeon. She is, is in another dungeon. Uh, Spawn Smith the Unfathomable was twisted by magic. She has uh, she's south. Who, who's uh, south side? Ooh, south side Wood Forest. Side. Where's this lady at? Uh, guys, I think we're gonna get our asses. <laughs> I'm a fight. We don't. We don't have the siege trees anywhere no, near no, no, the no, no. fucking tower. Dude, 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 dude. I got you. Okay. Joe she wants to fight. Decaf. Well, Joe, did you do your first uh, start of the turn ability? Uh, I'm not moving. Uh, I'm going to attack this wolf. We're, we're clearing this motherfucking board. Oh, you did. Let's right. go wolf. Uh, and I have two wild and one magic, which won't help me, but the two wild will help me. Oh. What, Joe? Uh, Don't fuck up. No, I didn't. There I go. I Got lose it. ten warriors. No. Lose five warriors. Fine. Lose one potion. Shit. 
I have one advantage left. No losses. We got rid of that motherfucker. Got out of here. Give me two uh, spirit. And then I will move. And then I will reinforce, move the trees up one. So just to show you, I came here. I beat this wolf. Then after I beat the battle, I came here and I moved the trees up one. And there's only one space up here to move the trees. So I think I need to move the trees that direction and then move this one this direction. And then I will have it all locked up. Oh, so, yeah. That's and then uh, drop the skull, Ray. Big bucks, no whammies. Kobe. No, 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 no. Oh, I got a skull came out <laughs> on my side. Jesus man. I'm going to put it on... Nobody gives a shit about the sanctuary. <laughs> oh, shit. A seal is broken. What? The seal is about to light up to show that it should be removed. Here we go. Let's get a zoom in on the one. Uh, reveal. Uh -oh. It went dark. It's that, on OJ's side. That's, that's not a good so. thing. So it's glowing on OJ's side, and one of these three like is glowing. <sighs> the bottom one. The bottom one is yeah. glowing. Big okay, bucks. Joe, let me see if I can zoom in on that. No way. So basically, let me just move this towards the camera so that you can see. Yeah, still this, technically facing him. <laughs> this is the one that's glowing. <laughs> you moved it. So you basically have to open this. Any skulls fall? No. Unfortunately, there is a glyph. Glyphs are bad. So match that glyph with your board. What, what glyph is that? Is it the the banner? Is it the movement? Banner. Is banner. it the it's the banner? So you no longer get your banner Fuck, ability that. in that uh, kingdom. Oh jeez. Yeah. Until the tower starts shifting, because the. I needed that for my next play. Yeah. Well, the oh. tower's starting to get a little. That's a little bit bitchy. <laughs> Fuck that tower. Bitchy. I'm gonna kick it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's my next? turn? Yeah. Uh, I am going to gain five. Uh, I am going to. I want a quest, right? I want a quest to free so and so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do that. He's All right. So we'll move there. The I'm already girlfriend. there. What? I'm already there. He started there. Oh, he started there. All right. So then we got to go on the quest here, the companion quest to rescue Nimet, complete the dungeon to complete this quest. Okay. okay. Seduce the tower. Throw Roxanne, Daddy. Work the chef. Work the chef. Here we go. This is the first dungeon <laughs> I've ever done. So we have to select a dungeon to enter. Get the man. The temple of the cruel ring. Here we go. Can I buy these at any time? Buy what? These. No, you have to be at a sanctuary. That's sanctuary what sanctuary is go. for. All Ooh. right. You are at the entrance of the dungeon. Excellent. The hairs on your arms and neck stand up as if the whole place is suffused with energy. Excellent. I'm excited. Choose your path. I guess there's only one path for right now, so I'll choose that one. So the Hall of Echoes lose five warriors. Done. <laughs> Zero advantages of blind? What does this mean? Oh, we could. You. All right. So how many advantages can we apply to the um, to this one? Let me check. What kind of thing is it? Yeah, I'm going to check. It is the, uh, what was it? The Temple of the Cruel King? Or Ring? Yes, was it? Cruel King. Yeah. Uh, that's magic. Mag Are you to get Do you have it? any magic advantages? No, I only get the one wild, so I've got one advantage. You've got one wild advantage? Yeah, I'll okay. You gonna save it? Yeah, I'm gonna save it. All right, Pops lose five warriors. Already did. Okay. Pops his wondrous physique. All right, uh, there's only one way to go. We'll go. Uh, reflecting pools. Use a, lose a potion and one warrior. So I automatically lose the whole battle if I can't lose a potion. Uh, you gain a corruption. Uh, all right. Well, I have to use my wild. And here. if you get if you get three corruption, we all lose the game. Okay. Well, oh. I'll use my wild here. You, use your wild. Okay. Whoop. Gain a potion. That's gonna that's gonna help you because you seem to want to lose potions. Oh, all the that time. looks like what a kind of potion one. did you get? Uh, spend to move any foe up to two spaces. Oh, that's not that great. Pitch okay. me going. <laughs> Which way do you want to go? Uh, Left or, or south? Uh, let's put some south in your mouth. South in your mouth. Here <laughs> we go. It is the shaded reliquary. Lose two spirit and three warriors. That's bad. That's what do it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, which way do you want to go now? Um, left. Left. 
desecrated altar. Nemoet weeps silently besides an ebony altar. You reached her. Yes, you did it. Hey, you did it. Fix it now. Recruit Nemet. Fix it. Spend three to place a seal on the tower. You can do this once per turn. Oh, I hate you, but I will do it for you. Huzzah! <laughs> Glyph be gone. It helps us. Uh, but I get you back for questing, so I'll do that. Uh, Wow, good. that was perfect timing. It is. You're welcome. Thank you. Butthole. All right, so uh, you want to put this back, you think? Yes. I'm going to put All that right, back so for OJ. Joe, so Nemet comes out of the dungeon, and he immediately convinces her to reseal uh, the tower. Re re repossessed. Uh, and I reinforce to move the siege tree up. Siege tree up. Move. I, I did, did. You already did. I moved it, and then I will move here because I have to move the fucking siege tree up. Okay, uh, drop a skull. Skull, please. <gasps> no events. Events. We were doing the tower so stirs. The tower is about to rotate. Keep your fingers clear. Well, we put the seal back, so. Yeah. So a bit. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, no couch. <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah. So it's oh, rotating whoa, on the inside. Oh, look yeah. And, um, but there's no, it didn't drop any skulls. Good. So we're still I'm good. cool with that. Place a river of fire token on two different rivers. Your side. <sighs> oh, Fuck. Boy. Events. Damn it. Like every turn now? Ray, a seal is about to light up and show it should be removed. Let's and see if it works this time. It's me. Top. Right. Damn, that's a top seal. Pull that top seal off. Well, I'm glad your girl can. Ooh, drop the skull. Oh, that's funky. It dropped the skull? Yeah. Let's see. All right, put it wherever you want. Got it's it. Got skulls. All right. Well, next Did turn. it reveal a glyph? Or is it just empty? No, I think no, it's, it's just empty. empty. Okay. Uh, That's Ray, uh, Alex, your turn. Oh, come on. Get a dragon has entered the board. The north side. <laughs> no, that's my side. <laughs> north side walk in. The uh, south broken walk in. lands. <laughs> oh, they broke now. Oh, my lanta. Oh, like no. Okay. The tree uh, ring circus? Uh, okay. uh, uh, nah, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Uh, Fun for the so entire honestly, family. Honestly, I don't think we need to, to go into the dungeon to get the horn to move no. the trees. Unless this tower says, fuck you, I'll put all the trees back and then I'm I I'm on my way to fuck up a dragon oh, next turn. I'm moving as far as I possibly can to go fight a fucking dragon. Six. And I can reach him too. Yeah. Maybe I'll get rid of my corruption because you know what? Yeah, um, go to sanctuary? If I get two, if I get three corruptions, we die. <laughs> So I'm going to go to the sanctuary, and then I'm going to... I could, I could fucking cleanse. I thought you can't cleanse. Oh, no, you can't. cleanse. I'm sorry. I could quest. Oh, okay. Fuck it. I'm going to quest. We're just going to fucking quest. I want to do something fun. Uh, City of the Restless Sands. I'm going into the dungeon, y'all. Wish me luck. I'm probably going to get another corruption and fuck us all. <laughs> Entrance, loose rock crunches under your feet and dust chokes your lungs. <laughs> Choose your path. Go up. Go up. I shouldn't have gone into the dungeon. Hindsight is always 2020. I can exit Joe. the dungeon at any time. There's exit the dungeon. It's stealth. Does it count as a fail? Too wild. Because I don't have any potions. And it feels like it wants you to do the potions bullshit. Scared. Yeah, you can always go to the bazaar. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm moving forward. Lose six warriors. <laughs> I want adventure. And 27 of you going I. into the jungle. 15 There's of you ain't warriors. coming back out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already spent. <laughs> this is risky as fuck. Lose six warriors. I can't. Oh, man, Advantage. Gain two warriors. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <Boy>. All right. <laughs> I, got, I think I got to leave. I think I got to exit the dungeon. Uh, uh, I think that would be appropriate. <laughs> That's why I had to gear up before I Let went Let me see if I can. Else. I just want to double check if I can do this. Uh, <laughs> I, I, have, I have one advantage left. I'll use one advantage. You're I'll, crazy. I'll, I'm crazy. You're going left or right? Damn it! That's ah! all. I only have four warriors. I'll use my advantage. Gain one spirit. Sick. 
Now uh, I'll leave. You know, oh, you know, what? You only, you're so close to the, th there's only, it's no, a three by three. Uh, what? No. It, I could, it could be there. It could be there. It could be the top fucking right corner, and I'm doing all this shit, and I got lost in the dungeon. Mm, I'm out know. of here, bro. I don't know. I think it's right down. I nah, think it's right there. And no, he I'm was here. never heard <laughs> from again. <laughs> I do get two. Uh, His get final two. words were, <laughs> oh, shit, it's loaded. <laughs> the oh. tower just made a noise, and it was the clock ticking. Let us know that we are about to lose. No, we got this. Um, I am going to go one, two, three, buy this, with this, and then I'm going to go one, two, three, spend this, move him here, and then fight his ass. Ah, so that's why that potion is helpful. We thought that potion is a uh, fucking bullshit and does nothing. But it can move foes up to two spaces. Get over like here! <laughs> scorpion them over. So now you're gonna fight a dragon. Is he melee and what? He is melee. Melee and beach. <laughs> Hopefully magic. You got this. Beast. Oh, okay, that's less good. Melee and beast. But How you got many the spear, advantages right? do you have? Uh, four, five, six. Okay. Which card do you want? Uh, how many are I picking? Four. Four? Yep. Um, three, six, nine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and we bring it back one more time. One. Two, six, nine, bring it back one more time. Uh, if there is a skull on or adjacent to the space. There is not. <laughs> then you automatically win. What? <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> Car two, lose 35 fucking warriors. <laughs> uh, Here's advantage? one of our advantages. One advantage, 20 warriors. You can do that. How many advantages do you have total? Four. I have six advantages oh, total. Use oh, it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Two. Lose three that's warriors. Fine. Yeah. You're forced to lose three warriors. You don't have a choice. Okay. That, that's cool. Done. <laughs> if there is a skull on or adjacent nope. to I win. your space, lose 30 warriors. You win. You got lucky. Lose 10 warriors and one spirit. Deal. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the last card. Use the rest of your advantages. All right. Whoops. Whoops. No losses. God. Fuck you, dragon. You made that dragon. Bam. Bitch. You hot wings. Not bang, you're a belt. <laughs> you literally made that dragon. He's a warlord. <laughs> That's why he's a warlord. That's that dragon had no chance. Too. Now, <laughs> to be fair... He got lucky with two of the fucking cars that was like, if there's a skull adjacent, then you're fucked. <laughs> if they didn't get those two cars, that dragon would have fucked. Are you sweating, up. son? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well. Uh, Travel like is you hot. Get two, two for winning the battle. I think there's two over there. That's it. I don't get anything cool. And I get boots, a belt, a badass hat. Well, we do prevent <laughs> the dragon from doing bullshit. Do you have matching any movement luggage. Left? No, I use every bit of my movement. <laughs> okay, so... Alex just wanted to prove his worth in destroying a dragon, which I think, I don't want to say it's a waste of turn because that dragon could be flying around doing bullshit. It could have been, you yeah. You know what I mean? But it might be a waste of turn. <laughs> I couldn't have done anything couldn't have else. Couldn't done really anything else. We need to move. Because our, our, this entire side of the map is done. Yeah. Yeah. We're just waiting for your side of the map. Yeah, which and is only OJ. one. It just I needs it. one I'm space. doing it. All right, Joe, it's your turn. All well, right, now all we have to do, we have all the forests have now surrounded the tower. We got all the forests and all the correct spots. So now we just need to go to the forest king and tell him, attack! Bitch! All the soldiers, all the tree ants are in position. Attack the tower, but you have to travel to... Spend the spirit to um, do it. This one. Right? It's that one over there, yeah. Spend the spirit and do it. Uh, do you while there's an unbroken... You move instantaneously. Where are you going, man? What the hell are you doing up there? <laughs> he looks around like, who, me? <laughs> now he's attacking flies on the wall. It's an imaginary moth. Don't worry, boss. I got this. <laughs> Completed. Ass rider, um, ass rider emerges. Show me yourself. Oh, Show that me that ass. Is that ass rider? Give me, give me the. Is that this one? Yeah, it's the dog one. Oh. That one right there. Ooh. Uh, 
With a low rumble, the trees strike at the tower, branches and limbs battering the stone, their mighty blows echoing across the land as the walls tumble down. A gout of flame erupts from the tower amidst the blanket of smoke. Ash Strider emerges. It growls like a fire crackling in the forge. Give me potion. Give me potion. I'm going to blow this bitch up. Give me potion. I don't think he counts as a foe. Shut up. Shut up. He comes to the east, and he shows up in the Lake of Songs. Man, that is so fucking far away. How the fuck did he get way over there? Oh, I can get there in one turn. How did how did he show up? <laughs> oh, I'll see you real okay, soon, let's do bitch. Here <laughs> Reminder: When you battle the adversary, you must resolve fighting the adversary. So I've eight advantages. Defeat this adversary in battle. Prove it. Uh, I have this to spend four magic advantage. Yeah. I have her that gives me two magic advantage. So that's yeah. six. Uh, wild, wild. Okay, here we go. Choose the cards. Uh, I have to defeat how many? Uh, five. I have to defeat fucking five? Five cards. Card uh, two, three, five, seven. And then for this, it's not really prime, but we'll go one. Beep. Okay. Uh, events. Place eight skulls on buildings in your current kingdom. We don't we, have enough skulls. We only have four skulls, so you I would have, take the corruption. I have two over here. So we only have six skulls, so you have to use an advantage. Can I just take a corruption, and if he dies, I always win? I already used uh, an, uh, an advantage, but um, what are you asking? Place five skulls on building the year. So if we couldn't do it, do I just get the corruption and I just don't yes. care? Yes, you get the corruption and you can continue. But if you, I think, let me double check. When you when you can't do something in the battle, you take a corruption. But let's read that part so we can get it perfect. Battling the adversary. Um, once you've completed the main goal, you can battle the adversary for a second normal battle. You may retreat from a battle with the adversary at any time. You might uh, resolve the card. Uh, you choose to retreat from your card. Adversary determines this. The question would be uh, when you take corruptions. Corruptions are penalties that weaken your hero. You gain a corruption when an event, battle card, or dungeon makes you lose resources that you do not have. When you gain a corruption, draw the top card. It goes into effect immediately. You cannot gain more than one corruption per event. Uh, for example, blah, 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 blah. You can only have two corruptions. If you gain a third corruption, you lose the game. Play everyone lose the game. Press the game loss button. What we're trying to look up is if you gain a corruption, does the battle immediately stop or do you get to go forward? Here we go. Starting the battle, spending advantages, You cannot undo spend advantages. Applying the result. When you are done spending advantages on a card, follow the instructions in the app to resolve the card and see the next card. Remember, if you cannot fully resolve the losses from a card, resolve what you can and gain a corruption. Once all cards have been resolved, the foe is defeated. Yeah, we move on. So we would lose all of our skulls though, right? We would have lost all the skulls if I but, didn't use the advantage. But we're going to lose all the skulls anyway because this one says to lose I all the skulls. I can't undo an advantage. Yeah, so I accidentally hit that. So this is going to say to lose all the skulls anyway because you have three there and I've got two here. Well, this is place five skulls on the buildings in your current kingdom. I've got four over here. And we got two over there. So we just lose. But you have to do whatever you can. Yeah, so this way I don't get a corruption at least. Well, I'd say reduce it. Give me that one. Think about this, because we're gonna you're you're about to blow up a ton more buildings and gain a bunch more corruption, which would lead us to losing the game. You have to reduce this. Uh, okay, let's try. Okay, another reduction. Three skulls in buildings. We can do here. we can do three. We can do three. Yeah, three pretty easy. Do any buildings blow up? No. Okay. All right, so you've spent two of your advantages. Six. You have uh, what four left? Two, four, six. six. I, have, I have six left. So count with this one. Yeah. So, so I've used eight two. advantages? You had yeah. eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, perfect. Well, then that would mean, okay, yeah. So confirm. 
Moving on to the next. Uh, do you want to retreat? No. Lose 25 warriors and three spirit. I don't have any spirit to get. You went into the battle without any fucking spirit? I had to buy the thing. Holy shit, don't go into battles without spirit. Well, fuck. Gotta do it. Well, advantage. You still got an advantage. One advantage. Two spirit. Can't do it. Three advantage. Another one. Lose five warriors. Okay. Easy. Done. Easy. That could. Oh, man. That could kill us. <laughs> There's three cards left. Mm -hmm. Do you want to retreat now? Uh, no. We need to keep going. Fuck. Lose 30 warriors, one gear, and one treasure. I have no gear. I can lose the warriors and the thing, so I have to spend, uh, spend a reduction. Okay. One reduction. Ah, uh, I got rid okay. of the treasure. You still have do to do that the one. gear. Uh, I can't lose the treasure. Has no gear. Oh, he has no too. gear. So I have to you have to do it the other one. Again. Lose ten warriors. No problem. Confirmed. Do you want to retreat now or go to the well, next Well, this I have to retreat now, right? Yeah. You only have one advantage left. You would gain a corruption. I think we could complete one more card. You think so? I'm up for Maybe trying. Not. Oh, he's only got two advantages. So all left. you have is warriors. How many warriors do you have? A shitload. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't think it. it, it I, have I have almost 40 warriors. I don't think the next card is warriors, <laughs> but we could get lucky. Uh, he's got two, Doctor Evil. What is the worst that could happen? I have two. I have two left because he accidentally used. Yeah. The worst that can happen is you will take a corruption, and then we don't lose the game anymore. And then you don't lose the game unless something gives you okay. two more corruptions. Yeah. So let's do it. What do you think? Sure. I'm up for gambling. 30 warriors, one gear, one treasure. So this is going to kill me. So you have to put that and one gear. Uh, so this is the one that you cannot do because you don't have a gear. I have one more redo left, right? No, you spent eight. Advantages spent eight. You can only spend 10 advantages. We've already spent eight of our 10. So lose 20 warriors. Basically lose the ones that you can. Yep. And then gain a corruption. And the battle. Does, does that satisfy the card? It does satisfy the card, meaning he has one card left. Now we need to retreat, and that's it. Uh, he moves. Uh, go, take him to the north. That's you. Kill him off. Uh, now he's set up for your prize. Oh, shit. He jumped right the fuck on top of him. He moves like Seif. <laughs> fuck. No, it's not, well, it's, three three <laughs> per, it's not three total. It's three per, per hero. It's three per character. Yeah. Relax, John. Okay. He's so like, I want my point. Did, did you get your corruption yet? I have it, yeah. The okay, final well, 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 boss. Stealth. You cannot spend more than four Here advantages. we go. Roll out the ass rider. Which cards? Let's go with... Seven. Should just be, it should just be one card. Two cards? Oh, no. How many cards? It's not like a dungeon. It looks like I'm picking multiple cards. Let's go with number eight. <laughs> <laughs> one, three? <laughs> what? I thought you could retreat. Well, I guess you can retreat, but y it doesn't leave... Uh, your win. So, Joe, you're going to need to do the whole fuck. Okay, what? that makes more sense. Because I was like, man, we could just run and throw your body at him in the final bit. No, you can't. He regains his health a at the end of every battle. Oh, that ruins everything. You may retreat from a battle with the adversary. You must resolve at least one battle card before you go. After that, you can choose to retreat or continue the next card. Advantages applied to the adversary's battle cards remain for future battles. Ah, so he's weakened. Do you get That's that? What say, that so means? he has so much the, damage. The cards that Alex fought against yeah, are weakened. Yeah, he ate all of those up. So you have to choose which cards Alex chose, but I, I'm sure it's randomly shuffled. So just give me some more cards. Three. Here, Three. Five. Five. One Jesus more. Christ, how many more? One more. Let's go six. Okay, Joe. And let's hope these were already done. Oh, shit. This is a... You've got a bad one. <laughs> that's, pull, a, that's, a, that's an pull. easy one that you can pay off, though. Full battle one. Let's so how many how many advantages do you have total? Huh? He has two. Two advantages total. This one you can pay off, they're saying? Yeah, okay. it's pretty easy. One 25 to warriors, three spirits. Five. Easy. Easy piece. All right. Next. Um... 
critical hit. Place a skull on each building in your current kingdom. This card cannot be improved. We just lost. Had Joe, skulls Joe, you no fucking lost the yeah. game for us. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking lost the game for us. Oh, what? Uh, I would like to use it. my advantage. We only have two. There's no advantages on this one. I would like to use my advantage. Because it was only a crit. We only have two skulls. Because it was a crit. <laughs> yeah. Can I not dodge? Man, you we had you one had job, to pick the OJ. <laughs> So we would have had to clear skulls before we go in there. We didn't realize nobody looked at our number of skulls. But honestly, as new players, you wouldn't know that. I mean, I well, guess you would. I also thought that he was—he only had to do one card. Uh, yeah. And I, I would never have fought him. <laughs> you lose. All the four kingdoms lay under a blanket <laughs> of ash. I lost some money. <laughs> at night, cinders fill the skies like stars from the hells below. Crops wither and die. I only have 10 Those who survive the onslaught <laughs> flee to greener lands. That's fucking bullshit, All man. All is lost. Of course, Joe. <laughs> gonna release I would have whooped his ass. <laughs> you would have whooped his ass, but we were too low on skulls. If you want to fight our exact campaign, you can pl plug in that co code there, I guess. Maybe campaign. Yeah, see team. how good you do, chat. And then the win loss ratio <laughs> over my time playing this game one win, one loss. I won with my girlfriend and two players. So, final verdicts. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> final verdicts. Um, honestly, I did and enjoy this, this the, one. This yeah. is the co-op version. This is the co-op. There's a competitive version. That as well. must be funky. Yeah, I like how it varies. I like this little tower. It it, it enhances the gameplay. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed this one. For me, it'll probably be a buy. Mm -hmm. How much was it? We. Obviously, it's over a hundred now. Over a hundred. But comes with a ton of scenarios. Yeah, you do get a lot of stuff. Yeah, and, and you get, you get replayability exactly. and the fact you can go co-op yeah, or competitive. Exactly, I like that. I like the dungeon crawler. There's the campaign. Doing scene. all that fun stuff, building up your stuff, and the accessories. I, I'm just. It does. I hate that card. That just to feel bad for me because <laughs> I yeah. wanted to win. Yeah, it's a that's a bummer. It was it, a critical hit. It was. And Joe, you chose it. Fuck. Like you said, not this card and this card and this card. Uh, Had I not chose it, totally would have won. But, I do. Um, I think you would have won. Yeah, but that's just like rolling dice, exactly, right? Where you roll the exactly. dice, you miss. This you, is chance. The fucking and dragon takes your head off. I would <laughs> definitely play this again. It was a nice setup. It was yeah. pretty quick references. We get everything here. Yeah. Once we get this going, it's. I do it without the spores. Don't want to do the um, yeah, the, that was just the trees, not one. the spores. The trees. <laughs> yeah, Get a but different, different one, scenario yeah. though. But I would mm -hmm. totally play this again. It's a buy for me. So that's uh, four star out of five. Yes, four so stars. it's not uh, a bad bias. Bad bias. Short of bad bias. Who, who's next? Would have won. <laughs> um, I agree with OJ. I think that this is a super super good game. I think it's thematic. I I, I mean the the center thing is super impressive. It's not mm -hmm. insanely expensive, but it's a little expensive. Um, it felt it felt good playing. I like the the gear system. I like the treasure system. Uh, the characters all feel pretty unique. I mean, the ass Strider has an ass derisk next to his fucking win. Yeah. Uh, I'm not counting this as a loss for the good guys because uh, he's a piece of shit. I and uh, I <laughs> thought he would only had one health, and they gave him five health, and that's bullshit. Uh, so, but yeah, no, that I was my fault. Telling Alex that you can resume. He's like a dungeon. You can resume him at the exact number of cards that you did. No, you, he, you know, it makes sense. The boss fucking regenerates yeah. and you got to get him in one go. I don't hold that against the game at all. I think it was still super fun. I think it's a little bit expensive to be like a bat bass universal, like, per like <laughs> not quite perfect, but legendary five out of five, but super solid pickup four to five. Excellent. Four out of five. Ray. Me, I give this a solid buy. Like I said, just from one scenario, <laughs> it's shit on a skull. It's dropping no. skulls. Um, I'm I calibrating love, the tower. It's giving say, me my skulls back. Say, I love the tower effect. Yes. I love the fact we can interact chat with it. I love the fact you can interact your that iPad was, with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only thing I wish that would have happened had the miniatures been painted. 
<clears throat> yeah, yeah. Again, so it's these, a, it's this a is small an add-on. The miniatures thing. are actually an add-on, just to let you know. We would have otherwise had to use cardboard counters for all the miniatures. I think that helped. So let me let me show you here. Use seed. So you can actually press that button and then enter the seed of the campaign that we just played if you want to play the exact way uh, that we played. That's pretty cool. Like redo it. And redo I, like, it. I love the fact that we could come back to this or that there's so many scenarios yeah. in it. So it has yeah. a lot of replayability and people, like I said, for the four classes that we had, we mm -hmm. had the four of us and they did have unique abilities. And when we did co-op, when we did sling each other around the board and help each other clean things out, yeah. now that we have a better understanding, I think we absolutely have a better chance next time of going in because we'll definitely clear dungeons mm -hmm. and hit bazaars and yeah. load up on soldiers before yeah. we go after things. Yeah. We just didn't understand and started the panic, I think, because time was against us. But still, working together, we cleared a lot of shit out. So, yeah, it's a solid four out of five for me. And I didn't think it was going to go that high until we actually started playing, like right in the middle of round two. I was like, yeah. one month and we get one turn? Yeah. Hell no, like, we can't beat this shit in six turns. But <laughs> as it went on and the events actually made things matter, so you had to keep clearing skulls while someone cleared dungeons, like I said, while everyone else geared up. Agreed, agreed. Um, and for the price, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go and check out uh, how expensive it is. When you, it's uh, so $125 when you're, and if you can find it at that price, because right now the prices are higher because it's it's not quite out yet. It's just now arriving at people's doors. So Amazon is jacking the price up. But yeah, if you can find it at $125, this game is fucking awesome, man. Um, the interactivity with the app, the multiple scenarios, the multiple game modes. Rob Davio, you you fucking killed it, man. You knocked it out of the park. I love the miniatures. I think you got to play with the miniatures. I would hate moving around cardboard counters. Yeah. But I got the miniatures, and I think the miniatures are worth it. Um, uh, it's a great cooperative game. While I don't feel like the individual badass, I still felt like I was contributing to part, uh, of, the part of the team. And... You know, Alex was the badass. He had a role to fill with, you know, with his warriors and his troops. Murder. I had a ton of spirit, and I was able to use that in order to get things done. So, I think this is my first bat pass. And the reason why, I yeah, think it's a buy. Indeed. I think it's a four-star buy for this mode only. But when you factor in, there's a competitive mode. When you factor in, there's nine other say, bosses. If, if we play this again and we see what the competitive mode yeah. is like, it might bump it up for it. But that's why mm -hmm. I said... Just from this one scenario alone, just from this it's one scenario, it's a solid yeah. buy. If we see what some of the other things and do, you, and it some might of the bump scenarios up the might be more fun than this exactly. one. Exactly, that's why we'll I'm just clear up some of the. Oh, did this work tree. that but, way? But going yeah. off what I see right now, like I said, for and me, and it doesn't need an errata because in that one little rule that's on BGG, uh, what was it? Yeah, as yeah. far as foes oh, versus foes. adversary. Oh, moving, moving, the uh, uh, moving the adversary with a potion had to be answered on BGG, but whatever, that's fine. This game is fucking amazing. I love it. I'm going to give it a bat pass. This we, is a, fi we, a five star out of five star. This is a, a buy. I think that if you whip this out at any board game night, people are going to enjoy it and have fun. Four players is the maximum. That is is the maximum. And so it's a little longer. This thing goes so nice at two players. I was playing it with my girlfriend. You can just buy this and play it with your girl. Or you know, or your guy at home, and it is fucking awesome. You know what I mean? Uh, three players, this would even run, be running even quicker, and you'd be running all over the board. So, yep, I think we've uh, we've got a good one here. So, uh, whip out this big yeah, whip, whip out, out that this big, big black, black man skate big, tower. Big black tower. <laughs> you you got to keep it nice and smooth. Drop them fucking skulls. Uh, <laughs> The tower will do this for you, by the way. <laughs> when you <laughs> calibrate it, it'll get rid of all the schools. All right, guys. So thank you all for coming by. Appreciate you. We will see you on the next Angry Joe show tomorrow. Bye. Oh, tomorrow? Yeah. Bye.